everybody. Oh, sorry about that. It's Miss Penny, Wrangler Union Library. We are here to make a craft. I'm sitting today because this is a crazy craft. Um, not crazy, just a little bit more work, okay? So we're gonna work together. We're making this fun trapeze artist. All right, so a lot of things. We need, if you have, Maybe some tape from home. You'll need a ruler, some scissors, some glue, and markers, crayons. Um, if you want to use sequin stickers, any type of thing if you want to decorate your trapeze artist. Okay, that's the stuff you need from home. The stuff in your kit. You're going to have a piece of string. You're going to have some straws. You're going to have a piece of clay. Um, the clay could be any color. Mine's black, yours could be red, yours could be white, yours could be yellow. I don't know, but you'll have a piece of clay. And you will have these blank templates of trapeze artists. These are what you would need scissor or scissors. Yes, you do need scissors. Markers, um, crayons, or the sequins and all that kind of stuff, the fun stuff, stickers and all that, because you will get to decorate this however you would like. So if you want any of that fun stuff, these are what they're for. Let's get started because this is a big job, but we can do it. All right, first thing everybody we want to do is we want to get these cut out. So you're going to take these and you're going to cut them on these Squ uh, rectangle. It's not really a square. So we're in a rectangle. Rectangle lines. Cut out. There's two trapeze artists, okay? There's a front and a back of each one. You want to cut out the squares, all right? After you've cut out the squares, there's this nice little dotted line. You're going to fold them in half right on that dotted line and get them glued together, okay? Once you have them all cut out, or yeah, cut out in the squares and folded in half and glued together, then we get to cut out the actual trapeze artist, okay? So once all that's done and you have all those glued together, you have both of these guys cut out and glued together, you're going to cut out the actual trapeze artist, which I've already done. That's why I'm not showing you exactly how to do it, all right? So they'll look like this and they'll be nice and, I mean, they're pretty thick. These also are in cardstock, so I did, they are gonna be um, pretty sturdy, okay? So I have mine done. I'm gonna put those aside. Those are put aside. We don't need those anymore until the end. Now we're gonna work on our trapeze stand. This is gonna be the trickier part, but we can do it, right? We can do it and it's gonna be super cool. So this is where our clay is gonna come in handy. Take your clay and just kind of break it in half. Doesn't have to be even, it's not a huge deal, okay? Break it in half. You wanna kind of make two, like, two little balls out of these, all right? So go ahead and roll them or whatever you wanna do. Squeeze them, twist them, roll them, whatever. Just kind of mold them into a little ball. Set it on your table. Or, you know what, it can be a little ball or it can be whatever um, shape you actually want it to be. This is the stand for your trapeze. So if you want it to be a ball, we'll make a ball. Or if you want it to be something else, you can roll it into something else. And this clay does get on your hands apparently because now I have some black hands. Okay, so you're just gonna, that's fine. Done, got those done. Now you wanna take one straw and stick her in there. That holds your trapeze stand. Take another straw and do the same thing. Just stick it right in there. Easy peasy so far. All right, we're getting to trickier parts though. Now you wanna take your scissors and you wanna snip just one little slit and two little slits. One on each side of the top of these straws, okay? On each one. One, two, one, two. So just a little tiny slit. It doesn't need to be super big. Just a little slit in there. Slit, slit. Perfect. You should have three straws left. Now, I don't know about you, but when I think of a trapeze artist, I think they're 
way high in the sky. So I'm going to make my trapeze taller. In order to do this, I want to make more slits on the bottom of another straw. So I'm just going to slit, one slit, two slit. And the same thing with this straw, one slit, two slit. The reason that we made these slits is because it's going to slip on now to this straw and these slits are just going to help hold it a little bit sturdier, okay? So now you want to take those, yep, and just kind of, it just slides right on with your slits. You might have to twist it a little bit to find its hold, um, but that's exactly what, oop, there we go, oh, no, nope, that one didn't go yet. Still finding its hold on this one, got it, okay. So now we have a super tall one. Um, if you want to try and make sure that these are just a little bit more sturdy because they are kind of wobbly still, even though the slits kind of help hold them, this is where the tape comes in handy. So I'm just going to take some tape and just kind of wrap it around the joints here just to, just to make it a bit sturdier. And if you actually wanted to, these straws are bendy straws. If you want to put tape around the bendy part, um, you could do that as well if you think that it will make that um, make your straw a little bit sturdier for that as well. And it's possible that you might need that or you might not. Okay. All right. So now we have, well, we have the poles for our trapeze. Now we need to get the little actual swinging part of the trapeze. This will be just a little bit trickier, but not too bad. You want to take your last straw. I've already cut it, so I'm, I'm cheating a little bit just because it's already cut. All right, you've got one last straw. You want to take it, use your ruler, measure about three inches. It's in your directions, okay? And cut a three-inch piece of your straw because that will be your little swing of the trapeze, okay? Then you're going to make more slits. Um, we only need one slit on each side for this, okay? So I got one slit in there. Actually, um, I'm trying to think. Yeah, I think one's good. Okay, I got it. I got this. Okay, and we're also going to put another slit here in the top of our straws there. Okay, and we're going to put one on each side again. One on each side. This is going to help us. Okay, now your string is going to be a little bit long, so you want to cut it, all right? You want to cut it, oh goodness, I actually don't remember the actual length, so I'm going to look in my directions, which you have in your kit. Um, wow, where is, oh, there we are. Nope, that's straight, um, straw. Oh, two straws. Boy. Oh, got it. Eight inches. It was right on the top. I wasn't even looking at the top. I was looking at bigger directions. Okay. Eight inches. All right. About, you know, if it's not totally eight inches, it's not going to ruin your project. Now you want to take your one string and tie a knot on, on an end of it. Okay. So just, if you don't know how to tie a knot, go find a big person or somebody that you know that maybe could help you tie a knot. Okay. Do the same thing with the other string. Just on one end, tie a knot or get some help. No big deal if you can't. Okay, we have our knots. We're going to put our knot in the, the slit that we just cut. So hopefully you remember where your slit is. It's not too difficult to find. So the knot goes on the inside. So it's hidden and it holds it. Okay, same thing with this one. The knot is going to go inside where my slit is. And then it's just going to, and you slide it right on and then it holds. So you've kind of, oops, well, it holds if you don't pull it back out. <laughs> okay, so don't pull it back out when you're, when you've got it in there, okay? Slide the string down and the knot holds it in. All right, now we have it, see? Now, the reason we put slits on that, on these poles, is we're gonna slide it through the slits on here. Ooh, these slits are super hard to see, aren't they? Maybe we should have waited on the slits until we could actually see what we were doing. You guys might have better eyes than me too. I don't know. All right, I got that side. So we're sliding, what I'm doing is I'm sliding the string right into those slits that I cut. Now, 
Would you want to go on a trapeze that looked a little crooked like that? Ooh. <laughs> no, I wouldn't either. So what we're going to do is you're just going to take your strings on whatever side you want to take it on and just kind of straighten it out. It's really easy. You just pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it till it's even. Then you kind of put this, spread those out however they need to be spread. And look at that. We have a trapeze. And now you may add your trapeze artist. Now you can kind of probably bend their hands. Yep, They're, I kind of bent the wrist, but that's okay. And hopefully they just kind of hang on there. Or I'm actually, ooh, 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 you got this. So the clay is supposed to hold them, guys. Let's see, is this clay working? What happens is maybe you have to remodel your clay. Maybe, maybe balls aren't good. Maybe they need to be. I am going to, I'm going to taper on there. Actually, I'm going to put, I'll put, I'll put this guy on top like this. I should have probably had clear tape, but I don't. So that's okay, right? You guys, you guys are okay with this. There we go. There we go. Okay. Oh, my trapeze. Come on. Come on, Clay. Hold us up. There we go. Got it. Okay. I have to remodel my, my bases here. There we go. And there we go. And now you have a trapeze with a trapeze artist and you guys can make your own. All your trapeze artists will probably look very different and that's okay. And that's what makes it super fun. Ah, I like it. It's really cool. You guys have fun making these. Don't forget to clean up. Clean up actually maybe a little bit of throwing stuff away. Um, probably just pretty much throwing stuff away, putting a few things away and then that's it. But this is so cool. You guys have fun making these and I'll see you for the next craft. Bye.